Hello everybody, I am Alpaca Patrol, and this is Paranautical Activity. That's right, I am starting off a Let's Play of Paranautical Activity. Now, I don't know exactly how this Let's Play is exactly going to work, considering that there's no seriously, uh, there's no serious, like, uh, unlock system in the game so far yet, but, uh, I think what I'm generally, what I'm basically gonna do is, uh, probably play the build until I beat it, until I, you know, get to the end, hopefully I get better as I play, um, and then, uh, I don't know, wait until the next build comes out. So, why don't we just go ahead and jump in here. Now, I'm playing this because I think a lot of people, uh, wanted this. Yeah, we got my favorite weapon. Alright, we got the gift shop over there, that's, uh, not something that I need necessarily. Uh, anyway, uh, but we started off with my personal favorite weapon, which is the M14. Uh, I like this weapon a lot because it's hit scan, and that means that I don't have to worry about projectiles traveling. I can just blast away and uh, hope for the best because uh, glorious days have occurred. Um, I will say that they did actually recently just add in a new feature in the game, which is that uh, we should have a temporary invincibility once we get hit, which is nice because uh, that's one thing that I thought the game was missing. Uh, when I played it originally for my checkout, and then, uh, subsequently when I did my interview and all that. So, uh, hopefully also, I I'm gonna try to do stuff in post. There are no options in the game itself to, uh, raise the brightness, but I'm- obviously I'm having that kind of issue, as people keep mentioning. Um, so, uh, hopefully I'll be able to raise the, the brightness in post, because, see, for me, right here, it's, uh, it's pretty easy to see everything that's going on in the game, but for some reason, uh, when you, when you render it, uh, things just go terrible for some reason. But, uh, anyway, hopefully I have fixed that, or at least have remembered to fix that. And, you know, let me know down in the comments and all that. Um, anyway, uh, hopefully you guys actually enjoy this. Uh, again, I don't really do this unless it's the- oh, shit. Oh, god. No, we do not have that invincibility that I was talking about and we're dead. Well, that's kind of a bummer. Um, anyway, <laughs> let's restart, I guess. I'm gonna be pretty bad at the game, keep in mind. Uh, because I haven't played it that much, and honestly, I haven't played this game in quite some time, also. Um, so, keep that in mind. I'm not gonna be very good. Oh, dearest me. Oh, I didn't hit him fully. Okay, close call, close call. Probably deal with the imps first, which are called, uh, Jim Bobways. Oh, god damn it. Oh, it's this, this guy. This goddamn demon dingus, who, uh, we don't want to deal with. But, uh, yeah, according to the developers, those guys are called, uh... Jimbabwe's. I might call them imps because, I don't know, I kind of like the name. It sounds kind of cool to me. And it's probably easier to say than Jimbo's or Jim Jimboozles or Jimbabwe's. There's a lot of syllables in Jimbabwe. You know, I kind of want to stay away from multisyllabic uh, names for things as I'm going to be attempting to scream out their names in uh, sadness and misery uh, when I'm attacked by them. But, uh, you know, we could fight this boss. Uh, let's do it! We have four bombs. Oh, good. Okay, we got... Actually, you know what? This is actually good, because uh, this boss is not so terribly difficult. Mmm, I, I missed that bomb, I think. Oh, no, I hit it. That's yeah, pretty lucky. Uh, uh, that bomb should hit. Indeed, it did. And we're out of bombs now. Now, uh, keep in mind, in the game so far, the uh, bombs really only have one purpose, and that's uh, combat. The, the developers have said that they are going to, um, you know... Uh, eat butts all day. No, they're not gonna eat any butts. Well, I mean, I don't know. Maybe they will eat some butts. Who knows? Who really knows? We got the scissors. Hopefully this works. Ah, uh, no, it doesn't work. Alright, that's a bummer. Maybe, uh, maybe my game did not update. I don't know. I don't know how Desura works, man. I thought that there was some sort of new update or something, uh, but perhaps I'm incorrect. Uh, anyway, let's, uh, let's move on here and, oh, kill some things. Uh, okay. Glorious days have arrived. Uh, cool, cool, cool. Um, okay, we'll kill the moth, also known as the Lecter. Uh, however, I'm probably still gonna call them moths. You know, again, single syllabic is, is, is the way to go, in my book anyway. Um, I actually really like the, uh, the shotgun as well. Shotgun is, is one of my favorite weapons. It's probably my second shit. Oh god, there's a, ah, these guys. The damn... I actually forget their names. Their official name. It's in the lore. In the lore of Paranautical Activity, man. It's very important. The story is actually probably the most important uh, thing in this game. It's being hailed as, uh, you know, a spiritual su successor to Bioshock Infinite. Which is amazing, because uh, technically this came out before Bioshock Infinite. Uh, it's weird how the games industry works. No, I'm obviously kidding. Um, but, uh, 
yeah, anyway, uh, what I was trying to say was, um, I, I only really do this on the first episode of, uh, series, but, um, if you could like this series, let me know if you guys actually want to see more. I suppose I'll honestly see it through the, um, through the, th through the views and all that normally, so it, it doesn't really matter that much if you like it or not. Oh, God. Um, obviously I hope that you, like, legitimately like it, not just, oh, God, uh, you know, sort of just press a button on a, on a... YouTube video, but, um, you know, hopefully you guys actually enjoy the series, that would be nice, uh, and, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, uh, this is the first and perhaps a somewhat long Let's Play, you know, roguelikes, pretty good at, uh, being able to be Let's Played, because, you know, I could kind of just go into Zen mode, uh, start, uh, you know, just jumping around, murdering things, uh, which is nice, we gotta definitely kill the moths first, because they are D-bags. And the, oh, the other guy, not so bad. Or not as bad, anyway. Hopefully we can, uh, mm, did that hurt him? Probably not. Oh, well, maybe it did. Who knows? Shotgun actually does a good amount of damage if you could land every shot. Um, now, did we miss any gold? I love gold! Uh, we might have missed some gold. I don't know if we did. Uh, I think we actually might have missed some in the last room, now that I think about it. Did we miss any on the top floors? Or did we, uh, did we jump and get it all? I don't know, it looks like we got it all. Alright, anyway, moving back. It is pretty nice how, how fast you are comparatively to Isaac. It's pretty easy to traverse rooms, uh, quickly. Oh dear, this is not a, necessarily a good room. Uh, in this particular room, I think it's actually, oh god, probably in our best interest to deal with whatever's closest. Uh, which doesn't necessarily mean moths. Um... Though I would definitely like to deal with the moths first. Because, you know, those shots that they fire, those little white balls of evil and sadness, uh, those basically track to you until uh, they hit some sort of an object. So, you know, it's always probably a good idea to deal with the moths. Because otherwise they could, like, follow you into, oh god, entirely different rooms. Uh, so far this run seems to be going pretty well, I have to say. If I am to say anything of the sort... Uh, that said, I haven't really... I'm, I'm basing that solely on the fact that I have not taken damage in quite some time. Uh, that said, I don't know, man. Maybe we'll get good items, maybe we won't. Maybe we'll fight the whale and get the blubber, which would actually be a bummer, because, uh, blubber bummer. It's never any fun. Anyway, uh, we fought the mini-boss, yes? I think we did. Let's, uh, let's go to the gift shop. We have 316, uh, uh, glorious, glorious rings. Uh, so we should hopefully be able to buy something good. Generally speaking, it seems like the priciest items are like 400. Um, and 300 seems to be, you know, middle of the pack kind of items. So let's see what we got here. Oh, we have the M14, but I'm doing so well with the shotgun. Oh, winged foot. You know what? We are going to take the winged foot. The reason that we're going to take the winged foot is just in case we actually have to fight, um... I probably should have taken the horse shoot as well, but just in case we have to fight... Oh, no, we're not going to fight the whale. Alright. I'm sticking with the uh, with the shotgun, which, I, you know, I don't know if that was the best idea, if I should have went with the M14. Considering the difference in runs so far, I have a feeling perhaps I should actually stick with the shotgun. Now, that said, um, you know it's you know actually kind of funny. Uh, I don't know if, if this was mentioned in the interview. I think it was mentioned uh, on a live stream that I actually did with the developers, not before, uh, like, before the interview actually happened, uh, when we were kind of scheduling the interview, but you see how those spiders jump up into the air? Uh, they are not coded to do that. Yeah, see, they're not actually supposed to do that, that's just something that happened, it's like a glitch, um, that, uh, that they actually just decided not to fix. So, uh, we are actually going to probably take the floating bombs, I guess we'll take the floating bombs, it's probably a good idea. Um, and I suppose move on to the next floor. We could go back and buy the horseshoe, but I don't think we really need to, so let's just, uh, let's just move on. I think it's better to save our money, perhaps, uh, for later on. I don't know if I'm right, I don't know if I'm wrong. Obviously, I'm not very good at the game yet, so, you know. Really, all the pro strats, I suppose, will just come in time. Okay, the speed is actually pretty awesome. Uh, I was going to say it's making it hard to shoot, but I am totally wrong. It is just great. Now, what I would love is the spring. Oh, man, the spring would be glorious. Uh, supposedly, in the next update, they're going to have a lot of things, actually. So, they're going to have uh, a lot of new... Oops, a daisy. Almost took damage there. Eh, it's making it a little bit hard to hit with this shotgun, I'll, I'll tell you that much. Oh, I missed. That's a bummer. 
Oh, I should have got hit there. I don't know why I didn't, actually. Not complaining. Just saying. How did he... Nonsense. Nonsense. I call BS. Alright, cool. We, we killed the, the other Lecter. You know what I want? I want a damage up. Damage up would be glorious. You know, a damage up in pretty much any game is a great time. I will say. Um... It's always good to be doing more damage, I'll say that. Uh, I guess we're moving on this way. And we're off exploring. God, this speed is just a glorious day. We sh probably should have taken damage there, but luckily we didn't, which is pretty sweet. Uh, and I suppose we could look into the gift shop. You see those little white balls of evil, of sadness and misery and despair. The blowfish. The blowfish lowers our life, but it increases our damage by a lot. Um, and considering we have eight, you know what? I'm gonna take it. A a you know, I'm gonna take it. Oh, poison damage. Never mind. I am completely wrong. And I will also take the spring, because now we can jump higher and move super fast. So, glorious days shall abound for us, I believe. Uh, and we are doing poison damage as well. Oop, which is a pretty good damage up, I would imagine, anyway. Honestly, I've only taken it once, so I don't actually know. You know what would be interesting, actually, for the spring, is if... I, I don't know if, uh, if it actually... If the height at which we jump actually pertains to how long we hold the spacebar, I think that'd be pretty cool. I think that would be pretty cool, but, uh, you know, logistically, perhaps, not necessarily a uh, possibility. I mean, I suppose it's a possibility, but uh, I don't know if it actually would make for good gameplay. Who knows? Kind of go on the, uh, you know, there's two ways that you could do it. You could go the, oh, shit. This boss is difficult. But what I've learned from fighting this boss a couple of times is that you gotta deal with these guys first. Because if not, it's way too hard. But luckily we have a speed up and a spring, so this actually shouldn't be that difficult, uh, oddly enough, despite the fact that, uh, you know, I've had such trouble with it in the past. Okay, so, we got a bunch of money. Uh, a buttload of money, actually. Let's jump over this. Is that the powder keg or is that the rum? Oh, this is the powder keg. Alright, we'll take the powder keg. Uh, Powder Keg is going to be increased bomb damage, which is actually going to be good for, uh, bosses and such. Um, so, you know, that's good at the very least. Oh, this is bad. Bad idea. Oh, no, no, he still took damage. Now, I wonder, you know, I guess with the shotgun, um, with the shotgun, uh, they are, uh, oh god. Poison damage, I think, is really good with a shotgun, because I don't know if the, uh, if the poison actually is based on your damage. I, I would assume it's not, and I would imagine that, uh, you know, the, the damage over time effect is perhaps just, uh, weighed, perhaps, against... I don't know if it stacks, also. It's possible. Who knows? Okay. I suppose it's something I could always ask the developer, but yeah, I, I, you know, I don't know. I don't know if the... If it's based on your damage, or if it's stacks. So if you get, like, multiple stacks on an enemy, that means we would really only have to hit, like, one out of all of the buck shots um, in order to do the maximum amount of poison damage, which is pretty good, you know? I think uh, I think that could lead to glorious, glorious days. So let's see what we got in here. Oh, dear. Mmm. Okay, gonna have to run. Oh, boy. Okay, we hit him with the... Thing. Oh, dearest me. Oh, this is a messed up room. This is a messed up room. Okay. Luckily, we have speed, man. You know, speed in this game is probably even more important than it is in other roguelikes. Considering speed... Like, like this feels right now to me like I feel in uh, Painkiller or like Serious Sam or something. Like, I feel about as fast and agile as I should be, which is pretty darn nice. Uh, that said... I probably would take Blubber if that were an opportunity that we could, uh, we could make for ourselves. Because, you know what? Um, extra health is also always good. Uh, I suppose we should actually go back this way uh, and move on over here. God, I, you know what? I'm gonna have to start recording at night for everything. Because uh, I actually have to turn off my air conditioner when I, uh, when I record because it's so freaking loud. Oh god. Luckily, both of his shots hit the wall. Alright. We killed him. Alright. Blasted these fools away. We got a lot of money, I would imagine. What? Oh, it's the stupid white things. You see? The white ball balls of misery and despair. You kind of always have to just keep moving. 
uh, whenever you're facing these enemies. Anyway, we have uh, 260 coinages, uh, which I don't think we need for anything else. Like, like we got everything that we needed in the shop, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, dearest me. Okay. The next update, supposedly, whenever that does indeed come out, is supposed to contain, like, a bunch more floors and stuff. The final game, uh, like, is going to have actually a buttload of floors, apparently. Like, uh, I forget how many exactly uh, Mike said, but it's like, I think it's like 13 or something like that. Which means that this game is going to be absurdly difficult when it comes out. But anyway, let's uh, let's go ahead and fight. Aha! We're going to get Blubber. Also, uh, what I was told was that um, we are actually going to... Damn it, we took damage. Ah, uh, see the white balls of evil are fucking all over me! Get out of town! Man, that poison damage. That poison damage. Holy cow. It is a glorious, glorious thing, I will tell you that. I wonder if it's like a random proc chance. I don't think it is. Get out of here, white ball of sadness and despair. Oh dear. Alright, we're still good. Uh, we got this shield. Now, we could take the blubber. <sighs> and in fact, we're gonna take it. Now, it lowers our speed, but we should be at normal speed now. Uh, but we have 12 hearts, which is great. And in fact, I'm actually going to walk around and pick up all the hearts that are lying around on the floor, because uh, there should be quite a few, actually. Oh yeah, it is getting hot in my room. Man, I'm going to have to start recording naked. That's going to be a thing that's going to have to start happening. Which is exactly when I will start face camming. Uh, this is what I was waiting for. I was just waiting for the summertime. I was like, man, I know I'm gonna have to turn on my AC, and I know that I'm gonna have to get naked for the YouTube audience. I mean, if I want to retain my subscribers, I think, obviously, you guys all need to see me naked. That's just sort of, it's, it's a thing you gotta live with as a YouTuber. Sometimes, you just gotta take your clothes off. Alright, we do have a heart over here. I would really like, actually, in the future, if they could, uh, show what's left in rooms. That'd be nice. That's one of the best features in Isaac, so you don't have to worry about uh, knowing where you gotta go. But we have 9 of 12 health. I think that's fine for right now. Um, and then we'll just go on. We might have missed, like, one or two red hearts. But you know what? I don't think it's a big deal. I think we can just move on and uh, see the glorious days uh, that are ahead of us. Which I Okay. Jumping bombs think they're all hot shit. They do not know that they are wrong. Okay, we dealt with the jumping bombs. Now, I can, I can just imagine myself in the future being able to use those bomb guys in order to uh, destroy other enemies. Sadly, that is not within my power yet. Alright, looks like we're good on white balls of sadness and despair. Uh, those appear to have all dissipated. Okay. Right now, I think we're just gonna, like, like I said, in the future, maybe my skill level will uh, will mean that I will be able to oh, okay uh, mean that I'll be able to use those guys in combat but uh, you know right now I'm just gonna kill them I'm just gonna kill them dead I, and I stopped I did the I did the thing that I said I wasn't gonna do when you're oh shit <laughs> this is a bad room this is not a good room especially with our current setup actually upgrades wise okay what I'm gonna do firstly is destroy all of the uh, Okay, bomb fella. I don't need your nonsense here, bruddy. Bruddy. Oh god, there's another bomb fella. Bomb fella, get out of town. I don't need your nonsense. Okay, looks like we're good for right now. We've actually crowded the uh, Gileads into the center of the room, which I think is uh, definitely what you need to do. Maybe not what you need to do, but what's actually good for the shotgun. Um, I will not claim uh, skill on that. That was entirely luck-based, but it's fine. You know, we corralled them, is what I'll say. We definitely corralled them. We definitely did our good work. I'll try to remember that there's a heart here, just in case things get cheer uh, serious. Cheerious! Just in case there's rooms filled with Cheerios! And we need to murder them. Okay, uh, cool. Hmm, did we take damage? No, I don't think we did. Oh, now we did. Oh, God. I'm not familiar with this room layout. It's throwing me off. There's a bomb guy. Get out of town, bomb guy. Alright, Gilead actually died to the poison damage, which is pretty nice. 
Uh, definitely not sad about his death. There's another bomb guy. Nah, see? There you are, buddy. I don't know how they can jump. Like, I, I don't think he could have gotten up to me. It's possible that he could have. I'm not really entirely sure. Anyway. Uh, there is actually going to be a magnet in the future, by the way. There's going to be an item that, uh, that attracts all this money and stuff to you, which is pretty nice, I gotta say. Alright, we're going to move on. Magnet probably is going to be one of my favorite items in the future. I will tell you that much for a fact. Because, uh, you know... Having to... Oh, fart on my butt! Okay, we took two quick hits, which is a total fucking bummer. I can't wait till they add in the the patch where you get to eat a butt all day. N not what I meant to say. Oh, bomb guy! He's just hiding! He's just hiding. We're gonna jump around. Where are the white balls of sadness and despair? None to be found! Glorious. Okay, we'll pick up all these coins. Uh, we got a gift shop, but we got a buttload of money, too. Oh, there's another bomb guy! I totally did not even see him. Oh, man. That was a uh, close call. That was a close call. I wonder if these skills translate back to Counter-Strike. I feel like I should go back into Counter-Strike and see if I could uh, deal with things. Mystery box! Well, I mean, I can't say no to the mystery box, right? Lightning bolt. Move and shoot faster! Oh, that's glorious. That is fucking glorious. Oh, that's that's a good time. Alright, let's go fight this guy. Alright, this isn't such a bad enemy uh, to deal with. Oh, man, we're doing well. Now, if we get a damage up, life will be really good. Alright, cool. Uh, we got Gilead's gun here, which is actually kind of shit -hay. Um, not because the gun... Well, I mean, it, it is because the gun is bad. I don't like using the gun. Maybe it's in some people's playstyle. It's not my playstyle. I like the fast hit-scan weapons, so I don't have to worry about projectiles and all that. Maybe in the future, I will love it. But, uh, as for right now, not my favorite thing. Look at these things. Look at these things! Get on the wall, bro! Get on my level! Alright, cool. Uh, there's some... Some somber downtime as we're switching tracks here uh, in the game soundtrack. Um, I guess we'll, we'll keep exploring. I think it's always a good idea to keep exploring. Uh, by the way, oh shit. Okay, still good. Okay. Shit! Shit, shit, shit! God, I hate lava rooms. I should not explore. I should seriously not explore. Note to self, don't explore. Oh my god, we just lost so much health here. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, that's such a bummer. Alright, let's see. Do we got a lava room in here? No, it doesn't look like lava, so we're gonna go inside. I, I have to remember, like, post... Post first floor. Always gotta check before you go into a room whether or not it's filled with lava, because... Otherwise, oh shit. Oh wow, how did we not take damage? That's absurd! Oh god! Oh dear! Oh, glorious day, we actually succeeded there. Which is very, very shocking and amazing to me. Ah, balls! The white homing blasts of sadness, oh god, are still messing me up! God damn! Those are the worst! The Oh, damn it! And it was, it was another one, wasn't it? I bet you a million dollars it was another one. We have so little health. I thought the room was over, too. Evidently, I was incorrect. Man, we have lost all of our health on those things. Those are terrible! <laughs> I hate, I hate the mods. They're literally the worst enemy. Uh, although, perhaps not. Perhaps not. Perhaps we just don't know what we're talking about yet. Is there lava in here? There is lava in there. Not going there! Fudge on that. We will go in here, however. This is a messed up room, man. God damn it. No, I stuck. God damn it. And there goes all my health. Ugh, I hate getting stuck on, on things in this game. Oh, dear. Oh, it's like the worst thing in the world. And then this moth wants to be a D-bag. 
Yeah, alright. So we should be good, I think. Um, God, we've lost so much health. That sucks so many D-bags. That's right. It sucks entire bags of D's. Which is hard to do. Anything else that we missed? Doesn't look like it. We should go back, get some more hearts. And you know, I guess, well... <laughs> Honestly, exploration has done me very little. Oh yeah, we're definitely not going to go in there. Another lava room. I don't care if there are more glorious things to be had. Uh, but yeah, you know, I don't know if exploration has really helped me here. I mean, I got more money. And I guess I got more bombs, but I lost all of my... Like, I had eight armor pieces. And those armor pieces are now gone. This is actually going to be a little bit of a tough fight. I believe. And a thing called love! Oh my god. We should be doing extra damage with our, uh, bombs. Yeah. Indeed we did. Anything else? No? Don't, what? Did we get hit? We didn't get hit. Alright, cool. Uh, so what is this? What do we got here? A robe of some kind. Increases health to free armor. Nice! Alright, so we have even more health. That is glorious. Uh, and we actually know where we could get back to full health as well. Not in that lava room. I'll tell you that for certain. Uh, but hopefully, yeah, right here. Indeed. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Anyway. Uh, let's go face off, uh, with the next floor. And we actually have a pretty good amount of armor as well. So that's pretty cool. Hans's coat. Good old Hans! Doing well for us. I don't know which floor we're on. Um, I don't know if there's any way to actually tell that. Uh, do we go fight a mini-boss right away? I think we do. I think we do. Oh shit. Alright, this is a messed up room. Really messed up room. But I think we kill the Gilead first. And then we kill the Moth. And then we murder this fella. Okay. I'm sure there are white balls. No, there aren't any. Okay, good. Glorious, glorious. Uh, and that's a health box? Is that what that is? If it is, it's actually kind of a bummer. I mean... Oh, it's a mystery box. Alright, fuck it, let's take it. Sticky bombs. Alright, hey, you know, sticky bombs plus... Uh, the other thing that we have? Pretty good. And you know what? I think I'm gonna listen to myself, my previous self, my, my, my last floor self, and say that perhaps after we find the gift shop, we shouldn't explore anymore, because we have enough money. Um, I don't think there are any other types of rooms. So... I think the only thing that, that could really happen is we would be losing health if we uh, go explore some. So I probably don't want to do that. Um, okay. Fucking mothballs, man. Where? Get out of town! Alright, it exploded. Dang, man! You know what would be nice is some defensive items in this game. Like something like a, like a point defense drone. That'd be cool. That, like, blasts a couple of, uh, projectiles away from you? That'd be cool! Um, maybe in the future. There are gonna be, like, a buttload of new, uh, items, supposedly, in the next patch. Which is great, because, you know, buttload of new items is pretty darn good. Okay. Alright. Uh, we've succeeded in defeating this room. In fact... Uh, I think we actually got one of these glitched floors in that uh, it's especially small. Which is a bummer. Uh, this is just a normal thing. Keep in mind, Alpha is Alpha. This is an Alpha game. So, I mean, playing a Let's Play of it is perhaps premature. Uh, but, you know, the game is available uh, for pre-order. Well, not really pre-order, but you can get your hands on the actual game. Um, yeah, this is a bummer because I would actually really love to spend my 700 gold coins. Uh, hold on, let me resituate my leg situation. Before we face off against whatever this boss is. Uh, oh, we dealt with this guy before. Uh, in my checkout video, actually. And I remember him not being so bad. Indeed, he's actually pretty easy. This should be a first floor boss. All I'm saying. Because he's an easy darn boss. Uh, and he gave me, actually, I remember what he gives. Oh yeah. Yep, we got flight. Ballin'. Now, what the developers did actually tell me during the interview... Or maybe they didn't tell me during the interview. I get confused, man. Oh, here's the gift shop. Um, 
is uh, is that they're going to add oh an armor box. You know, I I guess I guess I'll take the armor box. I guess I'll take the bomb box. And I'll take it. I'll take the other bomb box too. I mean, you know, we have a lot of money already. We could pretty much buy out almost anything, uh, and that is like not including what we're gonna get on the next floor. But yeah. Anyway, uh, there's gonna be randomized boss items in the future as well. So, like, you're you're not just gonna get flight every time you fight that boss in the future. Uh, and I will fight this mini boss right away. Ah, we got the blood moth. Blood moth sucks, man. Okay, we probably over overuse the bombs, but that's fine. You know what? That's what we bought those bomb boxes for. Especially considering we No! And it still hit me. It still hit me! That's a bummer. Oh yeah, we got kiss of death. Here is our damage increase. The damage increase. It's not the damage increase we need. It's the damage increase we deserve. Oh my god, what the hell is going on in this room? I have never seen this. Maybe this is an update. Oh, God. This adds a whole new level of crazy. I like this room a lot. Although, by like, I mean I fucking hate it. Oh, my God. Yeah, I, I hate this room, but I like it. <laughs> if that makes any sense at all. I feel like Tobias Funke for a second there. All right, go, 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 go. Run away. Okay, we're still good. Um, and let's go in here with our 700 freaking gold and see what we got. Bomb box, anchor, horseshoe. Um, anchor makes us go down faster, which I, I guess is good. Horseshoe? I don't remember what the horseshoe does. More loot. Alright, yeah, we'll buy that. We'll buy the bomb box too. Just clear out the shop. Why not? Oh, God. <laughs> you know what? I'm not even going to take a chance in that room. I'm just going to move on. Damn. That. <laughs> so, so what I meant by that was... I like the room because I like that element of the gameplay. I fucking hate it, though. That is going to make my life so much more difficult. Did I encounter any of that in my... Maybe I already countered it, and then I just totally forgot. Hey, bomb fella. Yeah, you're all dead. Eat it. Oh, flight is such a glorious thing. Alright, cool. It really makes traversal a lot better as well. Especially considering we have so many uh, other things. Anyway, uh, we gotta go find the boss. We gotta go... Oh, fast! Oh, damn, we took damage. Okay, our damage is no fucking joke right now, which is good. Oh, man! He jumped on the ceiling. He's a little monkey D-bag. By the way, you know, this This is a uh, World War II, like, Nazi... Submarine? Not a Nazi submarine, a Nazi, like, battleship. So, oh, there he is! Alright, we triggered him. They, I guess they act like creepers in that they, uh... Now, keep in mind, I've played, like, <laughs> maybe two, three hours of Minecraft in my life. Uh, but I think you can just trigger them and then they'll explode. So I guess you have, if you have enough speed, they're not a, not a big deal. But they're pretty darn fast, especially when you first encounter them. For the most part, anyway. Um, Alright, what do we got in here? Lava? No, doesn't look like lava. Shit. You know, this flight is not doing well for us, I will say that. Okay. So we triggered bomb fella. What the hell? Were those just bomb guys who were, like, glitched out or something? I don't know. Those look like weird enemies that I had never encountered before. Perhaps there has been a patch. But perhaps... There's been a secondary patch that removed the invincibility. I don't know, man. Or maybe I'm just seeing a bunch of shit that I just never saw before. Because I'm a big old idiot. I probably should have... That's lava, isn't it? Yep, it is. Alright. We're just... I mean, I realize we have flight. But, uh... For the sake of safety... Damn! Taking a buttload of damage, man. Oh, it's these monkeys! Which, uh... I believe... Oh my god damn... Uh, Travis is very angry that people call them monkeys. He doesn't like them being called monkeys. I don't know what they actually are. I, to I actually completely forgot about that. Wh okay, so... This monkey is lying around somewhere, and there he is! Hey, buddy. Get out of town. I don't like their AI. Get out of here! Oh, they're so scary! Get out of town. Alright, cool. Uh, glorious days have arrived. 
Anything else? Eh, we got a bomb. Anything else? Eh, doesn't look like it. Uh, we already went to the... This is the lava room, yeah? Okay. Um, we already went to the... This is another lava room, isn't it? Yep, definitely don't want to go into another lava room. Let's go over here, hopefully find the bomb. Oh, God! This is not much better than the lava room. Oh, my God, and by not much better, I mean way worse. Potentially. Eh, maybe not. Oh, damn. Please die from poison damage. Damn it. Took another hit. I have to get used to using these, uh, this flight ability because I feel like I'm not using it effectively. And it's leading to having a lot of damage. Shit. That was my own fault. I thought it was an enemy that we could kill. Indeed it was not. It's kind of a bummer. I'll pick up all this money. Try to work our way towards wherever the boss may be. I don't know where exactly he will be. Uh, wherever he is, though, I think we're going to need to probably traverse a lava room. Maybe not. Oh, farts, man. These monkeys, they climb ceilings and stuff. I don't like it. I don't know. I also don't know if we're on the last floor or not. We could actually well be on the last floor. Uh, in which case, we could potentially beat the game here. Which is kind of shocking, considering uh, it's not necessarily my run. Uh, or my perhaps best run. I don't know, man. <laughs> it looks like we actually have rooms off the screen here, which is kind of funny. Hmm. Okay, well, we found the boss, which is good. Uh, because that's pretty much all we need to do. Okay. Alright, poison actually killed the monkey pretty quick. Which is definitely nice. Alright, here we go. We got the boss. I don't know if this is the final boss. If it's the ghost fella. Yep, this is the final boss. Let's just drop a buttload of bombs. Yeah, look at that. Success, I believe. Okay, oh, maybe this isn't the final boss. Maybe the developers lied to me, because they told me that the this guy was the final boss. What is this? Probably something awesome? Damage up! Banshee scream. Alright, here we go. Let's see what happens now. <laughs> oh! Ah! We did it! We succeeded! We beat Paranautical Activity! I was not expecting that in the slightest. <laughs> I like these credits. These are good. You know, I can I can say with certainty that he is the vice president of sleeping in uh, Mike Malbeck. <laughs> That's true. Uh, Barack Obama is indeed the president of the United States. That's a good point. Uh, I'm glad they they uh, they sought to mention that because had they not, who would have really known, right? I mean, who would have really known? Um, anyway. I guess that's the end of this episode, and I suppose maybe this is the end of uh, the series until they have a new update, which should be soon anyway. I mean, Mike's been tweeting all about uh, the new stuff and the new patch and all that, so uh, so that's cool. I was I was not actually expecting a victory uh, in this video at all. I thought I was going to lose horribly, but you know, it just goes to show. Shotgun, pretty darn good. I like hitscan weapons, man. Uh, they're pretty nice. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Uh, like this video if you want to see more of the Paranautical Activity Let's Play series. Uh, this is going to be the first part in perhaps a multi-part Let's Play series. I don't really know. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but, um, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how it is well received. Or how well it is received, rather. Um, so, uh, yeah, let me know what you think also in the comments. Um, you know, let me know if you want to see more. Like, from what I've seen from all the other stuff on Paranautical Activity, um, you guys want to see more of this. So, you know, hey. Um, that sounds, that sounds like a good time. I have a fun time playing this game. I do wish that there was an unlock system, though, so that there is progression. But, obviously, that's coming later. That's probably coming after they complete all the items and all that. I, I think, uh, that's what Mike actually mentioned. But anyway, um... Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Uh, Paranormal Activity is a cool game. You can get it at CodeAvarice.com uh, for $6. You can also pick it up on Desura um, for the same price, I believe. Uh, you know, I don't know if... I, I, I think Code Avarice gives you a Desura key and uh, your own download. 
Um, but I'm, I'm really, I'm not sure. I mean, I got a, I got a review code, so I, I really don't know exactly how it works. But uh, I'll put the links down in the description and all that, and you guys can uh, check it out for yourself if you've never seen this game before. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. This is Alpac Patrol signing out. Peace, fools.